coach, Michigan Mac Trophy, a Mac West Division Co Championship, and a regular season win. Congratulations, thoughts. Yeah, we just found out about the the Mac West champs piece, and so that was a uh, still kind of a bittersweet um, announcement in there. But um, you know, our guys are certainly celebrating uh, today's victory. Um, you know, we did not uh, accomplish our primary, you know, goal this year. Um, but after a a very, very disappointing loss, close loss to Toledo, you know, at the end of the game, um, you know, our guys, like they always do, responded, you know, and to go to Akron and, and win and then go to Kent State and win and then to host Central Michigan um, and, and to win to – live the theme of stacking and finishing strong. Um, really, really excited for our guys to be able to, you know, place that trophy, um, which we haven't done um, since I've been here. And uh, so it was a fun locker room. Coach, are those trophies actually wearing? <laughs> Maybe so. Yeah. When was the last time you broke those out? Uh, it's first time. So first time. I had some uh, bowling socks the other week. So um, perfect. Maybe some trophy uh, Obviously, big win at home for a lot of reasons, but it's simply also a win at home, too. Something you guys haven't done against a MAC team uh, this year. Um, with everything else that includes beating Central, how does it feel to like have the whole team included in this win? It's a, it's a big deal. It really is. You know, everybody matters in our program, and, and they know it. Um, you know, we didn't honor just our players today who were seniors, you know, equipment managers and filmers and – and all of those guys and for, you know, our whole team to be able to to experience that and have that locker room um, was pretty awesome. I think a, a really good sort of example is that, uh, you know, Michael Four was the first time this was his senior day, first time he ever played um, in a game, you know, was at the very end there. And you could see our team was as excited about that as they were anything else today. And, um, you know, that's just it's an awesome deal. Uh, Samson Evans, you know. He's had a huge season, so much so that he today broke the school record for career rushing touchdowns, has a thousand yards on the season, 11th player, 14th time to do that. You know, what's it been like to watch him have this kind of success, you know, throughout the season and heading into the, you know, the bowl campaign? Yeah, um, it's fantastic. It really is. Uh, it couldn't, couldn't be happening to a, a better person. Um, and I think that's what anybody on our team would tell you is that, uh, I mean, there's just no, bad ego um, or anything like that, you know, um, he's just constantly trying to, to get his body right here as down the stretch to, to be able to play and um, taking mental reps and helping uh, the other guys as they, uh, you know, continue to grow uh, the offensive line, the tight ends. I mean, it's, it's everybody, it's our defense, which has been lights out um, all contribute, you know, to that, but uh, it sure is nice to have a guy who's, rush for over a thousand yards and, and breaking records. And again, it couldn't happen to a better guy. Uh, I'm sure you guys would have loved to on offense, like loved to have like stretched the field more than you could have not too many deep plays outside of the, like the Tanner new touchdown uh, towards the beginning, you know, what was kind of hard about like for you guys planning on offense to line up against defense, which put a lot of pressure on, uh, on Paolo today. Yeah. Um, we probably didn't take as, as many shots, um, but uh, I really liked our plan. Um, and, you know, their defense is pretty good now. Um, you know, after 11 games, they were tops in the country and tackles for loss and just being super disruptive. Um, so, you know, give credit to their defense. I, I really like how, you know, our offensive staff um, responded, though, and put our guys in position to uh, score points. Um, you know, I, when I say that, you know, our defense also set up, um, you know, a lot of those scores. It just there was complimentary football going on. Um, it all works together. Yeah, yeah. You, you mentioned that with like three interceptions, four if we wanted to count the two point play too by Russ. Um, two of them put like you guys in like great field position to have those two scores in the beginning yep. of the end. You know, how was it like to have your guys' defense so focused and you know execute so well? You know, today. Yeah, I think we held them to 229 yards. Um, you know, having to have a plan that worked versus three different quarterbacks, and you know they didn't end up playing uh, the one very much at all, but. Um, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. I just am so proud of our defensive staff and our defensive players, you know, in terms of, you know, the major adjustment that they made, you know, early on in the season and how they've, 
just game planned and and fine tuned and tweaked and and whatnot throughout the course, um, you know, two thirds of the season really. And uh, you know, they've just been really really good. Um, and uh, obviously a huge huge part in in our success. Uh, I, there's a lot of seniors to point out, but one I just want to focus on is uh, Jose Ramirez because not only did he have the three sacks, everybody can see that. I feel like the last two weeks in the coin flip, I noticed that he gave up his spot for the coin flip to Brandon Benson last week, and then this week to Mitch Thomas sack. What's it, why did he chose choose to do that, or how did that ever happen? And what's it like just having him as you know the senior that helped you guys get to this point? Yeah, you you, you should ask him. Um, I haven't asked him, but. You know, I'm pretty certain that he he just constantly puts other people before himself. You know, he's been out there at the coin toss now, you know, a bunch. And so he knows probably what a big deal that is. And those guys get one opportunity as a special teams captain and, you know, wanted them to, you know, have that moment over him. Um, I'll tell you, you know, it was senior day, uh, as you know, and um, his mom uh, flew in with his younger brother from Florida. It was the first game that she's seen him play and uh um you know there's just there's so many stories with the team but even just with the seniors about uh you know how special this day was and how many of those seniors you know just really stepped up and had uh monster games uh my last next week obviously we're not going to the game that we want to uh you do have a bowl game to prepare for how do you guys plan on using next week to prepare for a game that you don't know where it's going to be, you're going to be up against. Yeah, it's it's interesting. It's really different for everybody in college football in that normally we would be able to get out on the road um, in my entire career. You know, as soon as the season's over, you're out on the road. Um, the NCAA has changed that so that, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is a dead period. And so we will all be in-house and be able to focus, you know, on our team. And uh, – um, coaches will be able to go home at night and be with their families instead of doing an entire season and then going on the road. And uh, so we've got a good plan uh, for the week. Um, that it will be some some rest for our guys. We don't know where our opponent's going to be, and we got to find that sweet spot of you know giving them some time off, uh, focus academically, and just on the on the rehab. But then also you know we're going to need to stay in rhythm the best that we can. Um, you know, bowl games start December 16th. And I think the last Mac bowl game is, you know, on the 30th. And so it's a pretty big span there. And, you know, uh, um, I don't think we're going to find out until a week from Sunday. Thank you. Yep. Alex, oh, fire away. Uh, Jose, obviously, huge day for a lot of reasons. You guys finally won your Mac game at home, beat Central, the rivalry, uh, eight wins for the year. You gotta be feeling good. How do you how do you guys feel right now? How do you guys celebrate after? Man, we're just happy, man. Like the whole theme, the stack them, it's just like just feel like we just brought it to life. Like I know the season not over, we got one more game, but it's just like the highlights of this season just so we just showed them that we can stack it. And it just it's just happy because the underclassmen get to see this and see a different like culture here. And now they it's like a culture change. Now they fighting for something different. Now next year, this stuff they gotta, you know, a standard now. You feel me? So mm -hmm. yeah. I know you guys like to stay consistent, like in your game prep and all that, but without like the stress of like whether or not you guys make it to Detroit this week or not, because that was out of the question, you guys just had the game to worry about. Was it just like a little bit of a different feeling preparing for this one than like other games before? Nah, I mean, you know, there's outside sources, but like just like the A and Stack, avoid it. we avoid the noise, just come to work every day and just take a one and all approach every day. So Regardless of who we playing or what we're going on, just stick to the game plan and practice and come to work every day and try to stack them days up. So, no, it didn't fade now. I know I've asked probably you or some of your other teammates, you know, what do you guys have to work on this season at like during like October, September? How do you feel like you guys have grown as a defense over these past few months? I mean, I feel like the last couple of months we just put trust as a, as a big emphasis to just trust in the game plan, trust in the coaches, just trust everything throughout the process. And then like, just always believing. I feel like the big thing that we just, just the middle of the season that change switch is just believing, believing we already won, believing we already got this win is just going in there and accomplishing. Like what coach said last week, we can't stay during the halftime, everything that happened, we already believed that we was going to win that game. Even though we were down, we play like we was, it was zero, zero every play. Senior day. How did you guys go about celebrating? I know you guys had you had family come up from Florida. Yes, sir. Uh, what was your guys' celebration like today? I mean, it was just a blessing, man. My mom got to come. My 
my little brother got to come see me in person and my mom never seen me in college. So it was a blessing that she got the opportunity and I got the opportunity to just play in front of her. So, and then after the game, we just celebrate with everybody, man. It's just, like I said, every game is a blessing. It's the last one at home and we got to win. So it feels good to win. I mean, not just not just the win and all that, but you personally, you had three sacks today. Yeah. You know, big day, you got to be feeling good about yourself personally. Yeah, I mean, they they blessing me. The, the D tackles in there, they getting that pressure, making that quote. I'm at that run, I'm at that quarterback step up. Um, DB's out there guarding. It's, I mean, it's, it's that factor of me getting that. So just me doing my job and everybody on the field doing their job got that. I've noticed the last couple of weeks for the coin toss, uh, you let go of your spot. And la last week you gave it up to, uh, to Brandon. And then this week you gave your spot up to Mitch Tomasek to go off for the coin toss. What's the reason behind that? What's the story behind all that? It's just like, you know, I go up there every week. I mean, it's like the first couple of times. I mean, it's still it's fun to go up there just being the captain and lead this team, but just feel like them guys earn the like they earn the respect of our team and then they earn the respect of the coaches to be called a captain for that week. So just to let them live that in. And I wish I did it earlier, but you know, it's just like later in the season I start realizing like other guys probably feel good going up there. Like I mean it's a cool feeling going there with the coin toss. I mean you you're a captain, so they deserve it. So you do have another game coming up. It's just not next week. How do you plan on like? I know it's probably too early for you to even like think about it, but like using next week's time to prepare for your bowl game, whenever that is. How do you plan on using that time to prepare for it? I mean, just stay in the treatment room, stick to DMAC and be rich and Gary, whatever they got us doing. I know they they're gonna prepare us because they've been in this situation over and over. So whatever they got planned for us, the coaching, they have practice in between, workouts in between. I mean, everything is they they gonna lead us. They gonna lead us straight. So just listening to them. Okay. All right. Thank you.